Dr. Cranky's back again. Today we're going to show you how to remove the wheel off a small bike. Now these often have safety washers on the front wheel which stop the wheel dropping out which makes it a bit difficult to remove that front wheel. Also with their thicker tyres they sometimes get stuck on the brakes. You have to get the tyre through the brakes. There's two different ways to do that. One is to let the air out of the tyre and squish it squeeze it so it gets through the brakes. The other one is to release the brakes. So we'll go ahead and show you, or I will go ahead and show you how to get this front wheel off. It can be a bit frustrating the first time you try. So this video will hopefully um, make it easy for you when you try to remove that front wheel off your child's bike and get yourself riding again. All right, here we go. You ready? Here we are with the front wheel. You can see here the, the nuts and in behind here is the safety washer. We're getting a bit closer here. Get that safety washer in behind and it, the tab goes into a hole in the fork so even when the nut is loose the wheel can't fall out so when we release the nut you have that safety washer sits in there. You see that in there? It comes out. So we'll leave that on, but we'll just loosen off. Leave the nut on. Leave the safety washer so it's just off the edge here so it's not pulling in. Yep. We'll go to that on the other side. the nut off, I didn't mean to. I'm going to keep that there. So there we go, it's loose and the safety tabs or the safety washers are out, out of the holes. You can find when we go to pull it out, it gets stuck up here on the brakes. So the brakes are stopping the wheel dropping out. So there's two solutions to this. One um, is to just release air out of the tyre. Have to completely deflate it so it's and then you can squish the tire as it comes out and it pulls out through. Alright, that's what oh so easy. All right, that's the first technique and you keep it when you put the new tube in. It's a bit, a bit tricky still. When you put the new tube in, um, don't, if the tyre is flat, that's easy, it comes out. But um, when you go back on, you'll find it's very hard to fit through there. Probably an easier way to do it, um, and maybe a bit trickier, is just to release these, the brakes. So we've got this nut here. If we release this, it releases the cable, and the brake comes loose. So I'm going to get you a good shot of that one. Oh. You can see the cables come loose there, and the brakes, the brakes are off the rim. Oh, and they come right, right back, and that one you can easily, once you pull those safety washers back, that'll pop out easily. And then once you've completely reinflated the tyre, it'll go back on easily. So when we get it in, is it straight in the straight in the forks? Get it straight in the forks. Put these safety washers around. So the so that tab sits into the hole in the fork. And then up here, we've got to hold this, hold the brakes in, pull that. See the the housing is not seated in this thing, so you pull that through and get it back to where it was and you tighten that back up. No, I always put this the wrong way. So tighten that up. Check the brakes. Sitting on the rim. So that's tight, then we do these nuts. Both sides.
check it. We're set. So these are loose. As we drop out, see they, they're holding the wheel in, so they can't. The wheel can't fall out. As we said, if the wheel falls out when you're riding um, and drifts away, then you're going down and over the handlebars. So very, very, very important to have those safety washers and the tab into that point. I often see this where the safety washer is in here, but in the wrong spot. Right, we don't want that. We want that tab up and in that hole. You can see that there it's stopping. Right, it's stopping me. It's stopping the wheel falling out. There we have it. There we have it. We've done the front wheel of a small bike with the safety washers in the tabs removed and we can either deflate the tire or release those brakes. Now you know how to change the front wheel of one of those small bikes. We've done the rear wheel so you can do both tyres now. We're off and running. Um, next video hopefully we'll have a bit of fun exploding some tubes and we'll show you what can go wrong if you don't put the tube in the tyre properly. So I'll see you next time. Have fun. Enjoy your riding. See ya.